What if I told you a single LED resistor could save your gear? A few months ago, I nearly fried my Yaesu FT891 by wiring the battery backwards. No fuses in line, nothing. And the only thing that saved me was a bad crimp on the ring connector that popped loose. Talk about luck. But luck doesn't need to count as good practice, and that's why today I'm going to show you how to build a simple reverse polarity tester. It's cheap, it takes only minutes, and it could potentially save you money, heartache, and even your radio gear. This is going to be so simple that all we really need is a set of power pole housings, a set of 15 amp power pole contacts, a bicolor LED that does red and green, and a 1k ohm resistor. The green case scene is optional and it's available for free at printables.com. All we really need to do is hook up a 1k ohm resistor to an LED and then put it in power pole connector. Super simple, but we have two leads on the diode. We have a negative and a positive with the negative being the longer lead in this scenario. And that's where we're going to put our resistor in line. The resistor basically reduces the current to the LED itself or the diode itself, therefore preventing any kind of burnout of the LED quickly. While we build this, a case is not needed. It's very helpful and it adds a nice protection layer, but you could just go ahead and use glue as well as marine heat shrink to make this circuit. Since I am using a 3D printed case, I'm putting everything in place and I'm lining everything up to figure out approximately how much lead I need on both the diode as well as the resistor. And once I figure those out, I'll go ahead and solder everything together. I ended up cutting the long lead close to the diode. Remember, the long lead is going to go into our negative. I also went ahead and I cut one side of the resistor. Utilizing flux on each of the leads, I went ahead and soldered those two things together. And now I do the same thing. I take this now resistor and diode and we're going to go ahead and align it with our power poles which are in the case you can see here i now flip the polarity so that the resistor is going to go into negative and i get a general idea of where i'm going to need to solder on these 15 amp contacts that come with the power poles so i slide the contacts over the resistors and maybe i cut a little bit off just to trim them so that they'll fit into this case well and once I have both contacts in place, I'll utilize some flux to solder them down. That resistor is touching the contact as we see it now. I will later back it off and that should be the way it goes. Let the contact touch the lead for the resistor and not the resistor. A little bit of flux and a little bit of soldering, some video magic later, we now have our circuit pretty much built. As you can see, I have one resistor in line. And I'm going to go ahead and test this out now. This would be a really good time for you to test this out as well. If you have a LifePo4 battery lying around, go ahead and hook it up. You can see the resistors in the negative side and I get a green light. If I flip the circuit for testing purposes, you'll see I get a red light. And that is the joy of this simple circuit. So all we have to do now is go ahead and put on our power pole connectors. Again, we know that the resistor is gonna go into the black terminal. And to assist me with this, I'm gonna use a small flathead screwdriver. And hey, we got a lot of new people watching or people who are wanting to learn. So let us know in the comments below, what are your power pole hacks? And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Hey, so we have the circuit build and we have everything within the housing. So we just go ahead now and we confirm that the polarity is correct. Again, I find it's easier for us to fix an issue if we know roughly where the issue occurred. And it's better to do that before we put it in the actual housing that's 3D printed because we're going to glue that down here in just a moment. Take a look though at this 3D print. There's only one side that has those ingressions and those ingressions should line up with the power pole. On one side of the power pole, we see a little bit of a raised rectangle. Everything should just guide in relatively easy, and you may have to slightly maneuver the 5 millimeter LED into place. And that is what this was designed for, was a 5 millimeter bicolor LED. If I could show you one thing in Fusion 360, it's one thing I'm not necessarily happy about with this design or this remix that I made. And that's going to be that I didn't add any kind of snap together brackets. I initially did try to make some small nubs on this case, but I found that they didn't print well because it is such a small print. 
And so instead I decide that I'm gonna use super glue to super glue the case together. And eventually I use heat shrink to hold everything together as well. And I'm happy with the result. This pairs well with a lot of different power pull accessories. And that's why I call it the power pal. Yeah, your pal against reverse polarity. Of course, if you're interested in not maybe building one, but just purchasing one, I will leave a link to PowerWorks in the description below. I gotta tell you, not only am I gonna carry these in a little case and I'll have one, but I'm gonna put them at the end of my wires where the power pull is. And maybe on the other side, there's a ring connector or a spade connector. As I go to hook that up to the battery in the future, I'll have instant feedback whether or not I reversed the polarity and therefore I might be able to save my radio. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the video on how to build a power pole connector linked right here. Thanks for watching everybody.